Welcome. In this video, we will look at how you can integrate SAP GTS with your customs broker through an example of an import declaration. Before we begin, let us look at some of the benefits of customs broker integration. You can efficiently communicate with your customs broker of choice. It will improve auditability and visibility of customs broker performance. And finally, it allows you to manage both broker integration and direct e-filing with customs authorities on one single platform. Let us look at broker integration in a bit more detail. A customs broker is a service provider who completes customs formalities on behalf of another business entity. Customs broker integration enables efficient customs clearance in countries where direct filing is unavailable, or using customs brokers instead of self-filing is more beneficial for your business. SAP GTS sends a customs declaration request based on an import customs declaration to the customs broker so that they can create a customs declaration in the official format and communicate it to the customs authorities. The customs broker can supply missing information if any. However, the broker should not change data already provided by GTS. If the customs broker aggregates or splits line items, the customs broker's reply to the SAP GTS system, after a completed declaration, must be according to the original structure. We will now look at this in more detail through a practical example. An import declaration is usually created based on preceding documents in the ERP system. To trigger the process, we create a purchase order in our Canadian entity from one of our suppliers in China. It will consist of only one line item of 10 units. We move on instantly by creating an inbound delivery for the newly created purchase order. With these two documents created in ERP, we are ready to move to GTS and trigger the creation of the import declaration. Using the Create Customs Declaration Before Goods Receipt app, we search for the purchase order and from the work list, we use it to create an import declaration request document. We open the import declaration and quickly shift from header to item level. First, we complement information about the country of origin since it was unavailable on the inbound delivery or the material master. Since customs value calculation has not yet been done, we manually trigger the calculation of it before we quickly save the declaration with the calculated result. We switch back from item to header level. For example, on the partner tab, we can see all involved business partners, including the assigned customs broker, that will soon receive a request to file the declaration. On the geography tab, we can see things like country of departure and arrival and the relevant customs offices. The transportation tab gives us, among other things, the declaration date and date of import. The communication tab contains one message, the request to be sent to the customs broker. So we send it, select it and look at the technical XML file. It includes all the declaration information just shared with the customs broker. As the declaration process progresses, we should expect a couple of response messages back from the broker. We use the Display Import Declarations app to revisit the declaration. One of the response messages is the notification message, a confirmation that the declaration has been filed and accepted by the customs authorities. The response message is also in the form of an XML file. The response messages update the declaration in GTS, with, for instance, the registration number with customs and internal broker reference number. Another response is the import duty statement, containing the duty determination made by customs. We can open the statement and look at the duty and tax determination made by the customs authorities. The importer can also run integrity checks based on the responses from the customs broker. These checks enable the company to validate and monitor the content of the responses. Performance evaluation details show the overall time taken to complete the declaration and the number of integrity check errors. Let us recap some of the benefits of customs broker integration. You can efficiently communicate with your customs broker of choice. It will improve auditability and visibility of customs broker performance. And finally, it allows you to manage both broker integration and direct e-filing with customs authorities on one single platform. 
The views, information or opinions expressed are solely those of the individuals involved and not those of the individual's employer or any other group or individual. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this are coming shortly. See you then.